Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you're gonna be hanging out with me and my family. We're running a bunch of errands, getting a lot of things done. The sun is finally out. It's been a lot of rain here for us and we are tired of being in the home. Let's get into it. I'm gonna share with you a new coffee favorite. I am a coffee connoisseur, um, so is my husband. We really like coffee. I like flavored and like unhealthy types of coffee. My husband just likes black coffee. So if you like the unhealthy types of coffee, keep on watching. So I found these Starbucks cold brew pots and I love them. So these are what I was talking about. Um, so all you do is you take this, pour it over ice, and you add like eight ounces of water, and it tastes amazing. It's very strong. So I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna add. And the creamer I've been loving is this Dunkin' Extra Extra. A little bit. Give it a nice stir. And there you go. Super good. It's not bitter at all. I can't remember how much this was, but it's just like a single serve. I definitely wouldn't buy this and use it all the time, but I thought about buying these um, and having them at work. All right, so you're gonna tell me what letter you see, and then you're gonna tell me what is on the back, what picture is on the back, okay? A. What For Alligator. For what? Alligator, what do you eat that starts with an A? Um, alligator. <laughs> What's this? An uh, apple. Apple. What sound does it, the letter A make? Ow. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Ah for apple. V. V for? A violin. Violin. What else starts with a V? Uh, a bird. Nope. <laughs> v. V. I don't know. Vera. Vera. Good, all right. Okay, so this is the first summer that my kids aren't really like in school because we just moved and we haven't found anywhere for them to go and I don't need them to go anywhere in the summer because I'm home. Um, so we've been trying to practice at home letter recognition and keeping up with the beginning stages of reading because they haven't been in school. I wanted to make sure that I chose a brand that had a good reputation and had lots of great success with teaching kids how to read. So I picked some things from Hooked on Phonics. I'm sure that you have heard of it before. I used Hooked on Phonics whenever I was growing up and it's what taught me how to read. So Hooked on Phonics, if you are not aware, teaches kids how to read in the stage that they are at. It practices letter recognition and phonemic awareness with pairing letters with sounds and putting them together to form words and then how to read. They have workbooks, but they also have apps now to help kids learn how to read at home so that they are ready whenever they go to school. We have been practicing with the stages one and two, letter recognition, and inside it tells you what to do, what to read, what to say, how to practice, and things that you can do at home to help your kids learn how to read. What's great about Hooked on Phonics is that it's really good at keeping the kids engaged and the lessons are about 15 minutes. So it's really gonna help the kid focus, but it's not too long where you're gonna lose them because they are little and they don't have the longest attention span. It's really good on the go. You can take it with you or you can do it at home since they have apps and you can bring the books with you. We're gonna do a little bit of practice this morning with her letters and then we will move on with the rest of the day. Thank you to Hooked on Phonics for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description box to get your first month of Hooked on Phonics for just $1. You can use my code READSAVER for a bonus downloadable book as well. Which one are you gonna choose? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. 
your kid has curly hair, I found the product of all time. So all I do is wet it and I comb it. And then this is only like $3 on Amazon. Can two kids. You just take like this much. And then you rub it through. And it helps it not be frizzy. There you go. No, 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 it's already brushed. So it's a really gloomy day here. It's been raining nonstop for like three or four days. We're sick of being inside. So I think we're gonna go run some errands. We need to on these. Get out of the toilet. No, no, no. We've just been getting ready. I think we're gonna go get some groceries. I need to go to Lowe's, maybe go to Target. Just do some stuff to get out of the house. Um, we've been cooped up. Um, maybe watch a movie, popcorn, play some games, do some puzzles, I don't know. But we're bored, so we're gonna go find stuff to do. Okay, but I'll show you what I'm wearing today because I know I'll get questions. So these are the shorts that I wore last time from Harco and Home. They're like high-waisted. Um, really full coverage. I really like it. They don't ride up and they cover yeah. enough. Uh, and the shirt is from there as well. It's just like an oatmeal ribbed top. And I'm probably going to be wearing shoes that don't even match this because it's raining like crazy outside. I'm going to make a nice coffee. So, load it up on ice. Duncan, we're just gonna do black coffee. Okay, we made it. Um, it stopped raining, thankfully, so we're gonna be able to do things we needed to do. Um, I'm actually sitting at Hobby Lobby really wasn't planning on going in here but I was gonna go in to get some like decorating inspiration for our house um, so we'll see if we can find anything and then I got to go into Lowe's and get a lot of stuff and then I think we're just gonna go into Target and that's it all right so we didn't get anything because nothing I wanted in the store was on sale um, and I'll just wait till it goes on sale and um, we don't have shoes for the girls so I feel like a bad mom because Farah is not wearing any shoes because the shoes I brought um, don't fit her anymore and I didn't know that. So anyways, we're gonna go into Lowe's and try to find some stuff. My All right, we got a lot of options here. I'm looking for black three inch. So I think I'm gonna go with these and I need 23 of them and they do have 23. So, yeah. Man, it's a lot of work um, bringing kids with you shopping. I went into Target. I got a couple of things. Um, I'll share with you probably when I got get home. But I got Vera a dress because she really wanted one, and she did good, so I got her one. She just got this little cheap rainbow dress. It was like five dollars. But I got um, this really cute linen dress for her to wear because I'm gonna have the kids' pictures done in a couple of weeks. And I think she's gonna wear this. And we got candy. To eat on the way home. I just had one of the biggest surprises. My kitchen chairs came in and while I was gone, Trey must have put them together or whatever. What do y'all think? Oh my goodness. I love them. I got eight of them. Maybe I should have gotten 10. Wow. Yay, they're from Overstock. They were only like $89 a piece, so I'll link them down below, but I think that they look really, really good. I don't know about you, but shopping makes me tired and hungry. 
Oh, I could take a nap. So we're just eating some lunch. Um, Vera fell asleep in the car, so she's napping. Sybil's eating oranges and cheese. Oh, there comes Vera, and I mean their chicken salad sandwich. It's like a Southwestern style. So, um, I will link the video if you wanna make it. Here's what I ended up getting. I got a towel holder, a new sink faucet, uh, 23 of these, sink putty and tape just in case. I got this gel stain and coffee because I was gonna try to stain some of that to make it darker. I got a clear coat for it. I got some new light covers, because we need them. And then I got some black candles. And then I forgot that I got this pillow, because I have like those Euro shams and those. And I've got like blue in my rug and blue on the wall. Um, to tie in all those colors together. And I got one more pillow in the mail for my daughter's room. Um, I got it, oops. I got it for this chair. I don't know what happened. I don't know if we can drink those. <laughs> it's the second one. All right, I've spent the last 30 minutes changing all of these things out um, because the other ones had paint on them from whenever the house was painted and that was really annoying and tedious. But we're done. Um, Trey's putting all of the black hardware on and I really like it a whole lot better than all this gold. So it makes me excited to see like the rest of the house. Like it'll look good being black. Okay, so Trey's been busy changing out all these knobs. They used to be gold. I think they look way better. Yeah, my bathroom. Yeah, and this thing. It's black now. For dinner tonight, we are having kebabs. This is going to be a recipe that I include in a video in a couple of days. It's going to be a video about no heat summer meals. Um, basically just meals that don't heat up your kitchen and one of those ways is to use a grill so I grilled some ch um, sausage and shrimp and peppers and onions and pineapple and we grilled them outside on the grill and they were delicious and it saved me from getting all hot and sweaty and sticky inside my kitchen this is actually my mom's kitchen though um, and it was very delicious so stay tuned for that in a couple of days where's the necklace at what if it's like a diamond necklace? Oh, that's gross. Yeah, don't put that on video. Where's the necklace? Somewhere in the good. All right, got popcorn. We're gonna watch a movie. Let's go find the TV remote. I don't know how many times, oh, thanks, Sybil. I don't know how many times we lose the remote a week. The little bitty tiny Apple TV remote, it's always gone. Somebody find it. Let's see how long it takes us. I wonder why it's lost. Because we have too much stuff. So I'm gonna share with y'all my nighttime routine. I probably only have about four minutes until all my kids find me. I'm gonna have them situated with popcorn and the movie and then we're gonna go to bed. So all I did was wash my face. I have nothing on it now. I wash it with, all right, this is what I wash it with. Um, Everything that I put on my face is for sensitive skin and for dry skin. I have seborrheic dermatitis all over here, and now I have it here, I have it all over my scalp. I finally got it specifically diagnosed. I had a biopsy done, that's what it is, and I have things to treat it with. So finally, for the first time ever, my skin is like, Amazing. Um, it was amazing whenever I was pregnant with my son and when I was pregnant with my daughters, it was horrible. So now it's finally under control. The medicine is working. So I wash my face with this. This gets off all my makeup. It's for sensitive skin too. So I don't put too much on my face. Um, somebody found me. 
Um, but once a week, I exfoliate with this Dr. Brandt pore dermabrasion. abrasion. I really, really like this. Um, and this is just like the normal moisturizer I use by Vanna Cream. And then I use a whole bunch of other different products for like my actual dermatitis, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, but basically, what I like to do um, after I wash my face is I just put that Vanna Cream moisturizer on everywhere. It's really good. It's pretty thick, um, but it does a good job. Okay, so while that is drying, I use the Rodan and Fields Enhancement Slash Boost. I have been using this for about six weeks, and I have finally seen some amazing results. Um, it just takes a little bit. So you just take a little bit, and Put it on the root of your lash. And that's it. And you do it every night. Okay, so while I'm getting my moisturizer to dry, I brush my teeth. This is my toothbrush. I did a collab with this brand like six, no, maybe like a year ago. Anyways, I really, really like this. I will link it down below. I don't get anything out of sharing it um, anymore, but I really, really like this. I usually use that Hello toothpaste, um, but I don't know where it's at, so I'm just using a little travel size Colgate. Um, and it's dry, so now I use some sort of like retinol um, cream for wrinkles, just to prevent. So this is the Eucerin Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Face Cream very thick it has retinol in it and I put it everywhere mama, mama. okay Sybil is here wanting me to pick her up and sometimes I use an eye cream like sometimes I don't I'm I've got a lot of stuff Let me show you. Okay, this is mostly like hair stuff, um, but this is like all skin stuff I'm trying to use up. So the last thing that I do is I um, either put lotion on my body or I put something on my feet. So my favorite lotion of all time is the Body Buddy, Body Buddy, Body Butter by New Skin. It's amazing, keeps mosquitoes away too. Um, but this is the best foot cream of all time. So we're gonna get my glasses. Um, Carousel Intensive Foot Repair. Dr. Dre recommends this and it helps keep your feet really, really smooth. I also love this Avon Moisture Therapy Intensive Healing and Repair by Avon. Like this can help you out if you've got dry skin. So put some of the body butter on my legs because my legs are peeling actually because they got sunburn in Florida. This is another foot cream I like. It's Taraco. I got this in a Fun box. And I need some. Yep. Can we go in the Oh no, my toenail broke off. Maybe we can get, we can get tomorrow. We can go get our Anyways, that's it. We're about to go and to bed. Sleep. And we gotta go to the beach. Yeah. We gotta go to the No, but aren't you ready to go to sleep? No. Are you gonna sleep in your bed the whole night? By myself. Yeah, by yourself? Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, with me? Uh, All right. Um, we will see you in the next video. Hey, we go home. Goodbye.
Bye.